Son, are you gay? What? Are you trying to embarrass me, mother? Hey there, somebody. I'm Victor A, and today I want to share with you a story about my mom, my good friend Ben, and I. Are you trying to embarrass me, mother? I mean, Athena is right next to me. Athena was my girlfriend at the moment this actually happened. It's okay, I don't mind. <laughs> What's so funny? I think it would be kind of funny if you were using me to hide the fact that you're in the closet. <coughs> <clears throat> I mean, I wasn't. I was clearly at the dinner table. Nowhere near a closet. That's where my closet is. So, during my first semester in college, a good friend of mine, Ben, slept over. Average height, so taller than me. Kinda nerdy, he had a derpy haircut at the time. And he always hunched over. But the part that's interesting was my mom's reaction to the whole thing. No, not his thing. Get your mind out of the gutter. Seriously, what the hell are you doing in the gutter? That's dangerous, man. And what I didn't know at the time was that bringing the boy over to my house... <laughs> this line sounds like it's coming from a teenage girl. <laughs> and what I didn't know at the time was that bringing a boy over to my house was going to lead to problems with my mom. That's dangerous, man. It's not that she was not having it, but instead she was completely having it. So I let Ben in, and my mom's completely eyeing us walk to my room. She says a polite hi, and he does the same. So we decide we're gonna hang and write a story or something. Cause I like stories, I like writing, I like Ben. As a friend. While we're in my room, my mom pulls me aside, outside of my room, in the dark, away from Ben's ears. I cannot emphasize this enough. And she says, Is he a nice boy? Wink, wink. Okay, let's stop right there. Let me just give you guys a background of my life at the time since, hey, this series is called My Life. My group of friends mostly consisted of dudes. Well, at the time, all dudes. Six dudes plus me. Ben was one of them. Since we went to a commuter school, meaning the college was of driving distance, all of us didn't actually dorm. Which, I have to admit, did suck, but at least I'm not wasting tens of thousands of dollars, right? Some of us from this group would spend a night at each other's house because going home meant not spending time with other college students. And most awesome things about college are around nighttime. What? What are classes? The hell is that? So spending the night was actually genuinely fun. Talking about our preferences in girls, marathoning shows, playing board games, pillow fights, manicures, and then we'd get naked. I call top bunk! At least, that's what I assume my mom thought whenever I spent the night. See, at the time, I was single. For the past three plus years, in fact. Because of stuff. I was also pretty socially awkward for most of those three years. <sighs> Who am I kidding? I still am socially awkward. Hey, me too! Yeah? High five! Psych, you're a loser. And to top it off, I had three older sisters. So, no girlfriend, three sisters, socially awkward, surrounded by dudes, and bringing home a sketchy dude. He's definitely gay. It was actually pretty common for my mom to insinuate such a claim. Insinuate. Oh. Good work. Every now and then, we'd be eating dinner and... My friend, he actually likes this boy I like. Oh, oh is he gay? <sighs> I know what's coming. Yeah, is that a problem? Of course not. Your friends are nice and being gay isn't a problem. Here it comes. Victor, if you're gay, I'd still accept you, you know? There it is. Okay. I'm not, though. I'll accept you, just remember. If you ever need to tell me anything, okay? This woman was relentless when it came to this. I'm pretty sure if I had committed a crime, she'd ask me this question above anything else first. Mama just killed a man, put a gun against his head, pulled the trigger, now he's dead. I knew it! I knew you were gay! What? Mom, look at the floor. Oh, I had to carry him because the popo was after me. So you're saying, 
I killed our gay? Everybody freeze! Take my mom! Now there's nothing wrong with being gay Obama says so and I agree But the problem is that I'm completely straight Why won't my mom believe me? Screw it. Screw it! I'm just gonna go along with it. So when she asked me, Is he a nice boy? I was like this bitch. Just kidding. Huh? What do you mean? Me trying to dodge the awkwardness. Wink wink. Yes mom. Ben is a really nice boy. He's a nice friend. And we're gonna sleep on my nice bed. We're gonna do it soon. Well, more like with a group. What? Yeah, Anna, my sister, and the others are going to sing I'll Make a Man Out of You in the living room. We're gonna join them. Oh. Also, we're gonna have sex after. Just kidding. But I don't know if she really wanted me to be gay or was just so afraid I was gay that she kept asking me and insisting I was. Athena, the girl at the beginning of my video, was my girlfriend sometime later on, and even then, my mom still had her suspicions. Maybe I'll make a video about her someday. If that happens, I'll probably try to get her to voice it instead of my weird girl voice. Regardless, I think it's cool that my mom's so accepting of different kinds of people. For after all, the best thing one can do when it is raining is let it rain. This year, I actually managed to convince my mom, finally, I'm straight, with the help of my other sister, May. So mom, you are awesome. I hope one day most, if not all, parents are just as accepting. But I'm completely straight. That's straight. Believe me, that's straight. Ladies. Wink, wink. This video was actually inspired by this month. Did you know October is LGBT month? I decided to make an homage to it as well as National Coming Out Day on the 11th. I hope you enjoyed. I remember there always being a door on campus for people who wanted to come out. So if you have an embarrassing story about your parents or coming out to share, tell me and our awesome community down below. Thanks for your time. I hope you have an amazing week. Ta-ta for now. I'll see you soon, somebody. And... Close. Do you guys hate fillers? I think they're the worst. I mean, I hate the fuck out of these bull- I want to make this awesome animated web series with an amazing score and awesome characters and everything. It works. Alright.